Hey, have you heard about the don't say gay bill in Florida? Th- this is this is th- this is why I don't have very much hope for anything right now. I mean, I really don't. I'm sorry. I hate to say that. I, I really do. But Joe Biden yesterday took on uh, or took the rare step of weighing in on this controversial bill in Florida. Of course, that would ban discussions about sexual orientation and gender identity in the classroom. Uh, President Joe w- was attempting to tell the lesbian and gay and bi and transgender kids that he has their back. Uh, he said this yesterday evening, quote, I want every member of the LGBTQ community, especially the kids who will be impacted by this hateful bill, to know that you are loved and accepted just as you are. I have your back and my administration will continue to fight for the protections and safety you deserve. End quote. Now that message uh, came as part of Biden's condemnation of the fascist Christians in Florida for advancing the bill uh, in the Florida legislature. And it was seen as a rare step as Biden and his, uh, his aides called the bill part of a larger trend of fascist Christian leaders across the country taking action to, to treat little kids like political pawns. And, and that's all the fascist Christians give a shit about. They, they do not give a fuck about children. They have demonstrated it repeatedly, historically, for millennia. They don't care about children. This, this control of women using the issue of whether or not a woman can control her own reproductive systems, that's, that's about control. That's not about the little bitty babies. You're killing millions of babies. That's such horse shit. They couldn't care less about that part of the issue that they've created, the fascist Christians. So the fascist Christians in Florida have advanced this legislation. Opponents of this bill have dubbed dubbed it the Don't Say Gay Bill. Uh, The legislation states that school districts, quote, may not encourage discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity in any manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students. End quote. Okay, what would be considered age appropriate? What would be considered developmentally appropriate? Who's going to determine that? This this fascist fucking gangster, Ron DeSantis, who is trying to out Trump Trump? And DeSantis is in, in support. He made it very clear on Monday, two days ago. He loves it. And, and, of course, this legislation is going to hurt kids who would need the protection most in school. I mean, I don't, I don't know what it was like in, in, when you were in these primary or secondary grades um, where it concerned mocking kids who appeared different from your standard boy or girl orientation. Do, do you remember any of this from high school? Uh, I remember there were a couple of boys that the rest of us boys, especially those of us on the football team, God help us, considered to be, you know, what was the term we used back then? Faggots. Right. Queers. And when I think back on some of the shit that I was involved in as a teenager, whether it was racist terms or... uh, gender terms. I just want to hide my fucking head in shame. Uh, Sometimes I want to dig a hole, climb into it, pull the dirt in over me and just say, okay, this is my punishment for all the horrible shit that I did out of ignorance, maybe, but still, I still did it. And, and the kids that I and, and other, uh, other boys, I don't know about the girls, other boys in my little peer group, the, the torture that we put certain kids through, it was goddamn horrible. And as I got older and and then started looking back, started looking at at kids in elementary and secondary schools as an adult, I started looking at them and realizing what was going on. Then it became clear to me, hey, Malloy, um, this is so rotten, so vicious, so horrible to do this to kids 
to attack them for who they are. I mean, racism is horrible. Attacking people because of their gender identity is, is equally, more so, less so. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't care. I, I can't put it on a scale. But it's also horrible, fucking horrible. So the kids who are already vulnerable to bullying and violence just because they are themselves, this goddamn Florida law, what the fuck is happening to Florida? It's going to put these kids at even higher risk. Now, the spokesperson for, who's this guy? Kevin Munoz, he's the White House Assistant Press Secretary. He said in a statement, quote, make no mistake, this is not an isolated action. You know what's going on in Florida. He says, across the country, we're seeing Republican leaders, no, fascist Christian leaders, he goes on, take actions to regulate what students can or cannot read, what they can or cannot learn, and most troubling, who they can or cannot be. Jesus. He added this, this is politics at its worst Cynically treating our students as pawns in a game and not people who deserve love and respect. At every step of the way, Republicans have peddled in cheap political attacks instead of focusing on the issues parents, students, and teachers care about. End quote. So, yeah, I mean, this is another part of the sick, fucking Christian fascist agenda. And I realize the Muslims are just as bad. I am not that familiar with, with, with uh, uh, the attitudes of Jews where it concerns homosexuals. From what I have known of my friends who happen to be Jews, they don't have an attitude about gay people. I, you know, I don't know about the Jews. I do know about the Christians. Boy, do I. And a little bit about the Muslims. But this is a religious bigotry that results in people being lynched burned, killed, tortured. And opponents of this bill warned that it would lead to further uh, stigmatizing of of gays and lesbians and transgender kids, which are going to cause more bullying and more suicides within that community that is already marginalized by the fascist Christians. And the opponents of this bill in Florida say the bill would eliminate lesbian and gay history from the curriculum and prevent teachers from having discussions in their classrooms if questions about sexual orientation or gender identity come up from from the students, if the kids bring it up. Look what's happening. Look what these fucking rotten fascist Christians are doing where concerns classroom maneuvering you can't teach this you can't tell people the truth these young people we want these children brought up with the same bullshit horseshit we were brought up with only worse god i hate these people how fucking dare these people call themselves christian that is if you believe the mythological stories of the rabbi from Nazareth, Jesus, who was gentle and loving and carried little lamby pies around, which I think is horseshit. He was a, I, th- I think he's a real person. He's no more of a Messiah than you are. He was a radical. He's a revolutionary. He said to the Romans, get the fuck out of Jerusalem. Get out of here. Get out of the, the Holy Land. Go away. <laughs> yeah. But all of this deviltry, as my grandmother would have called it, all this deviltry is caused by Christians. Jews aren't doing this. And because Muslims are such a small minority in this country and don't control school boards, they're not doing it either. Christians are. Um... So despite all this opposition from Democrats, of course, and from lesbian and gay advocates, 
uh, this bill is gaining momentum in Florida in the legislature. And it advanced during yesterday's meeting of the state Senate Education Committee. A House version of this in the uh, of, uh, Florida legislature received a favorable vote from its education committee last month. And on Monday, this gangster fucking bum governor DeSantis said, quote, it was entirely inappropriate for teachers and school administrators to have conversations with students about their gender identities. And this lying piece of shit said that in some schools, children are told, quote, quoting DeSantis, don't worry, don't pick your gender yet. Who the fuck is saying that, DeSantis? Produce one person, you lying, fascist, nutfuck, one person. No, of course he can't. I'm sorry, I'm losing it again. And when questioned like that, DeSantis then backed down a little bit. He said, quote, well, I don't think it's happening here in large numbers. <laughs> and then he said this, quote, schools need to be teaching kids to read and write. <laughs> we need more civics and understanding of the U.S. Constitution and what makes our country unique. All those basic things, end quote, you know, about how we had to keep the Negroes in line and how we had to beat the immigrants and how we had to foster slavery and all that good shit. You know, basic things. The White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said uh, uh, yesterday that the White House decided to take the rare step of condemning this Florida bill in order to make a statement. This is what she said. Every parent, as one myself too, every parent hopes that our leaders will ensure their children's safety, protection, and freedom. And today, politicians in Florida rejected those basic values by advancing legislation that is designed to target and attack the kids who need support the most, kids from the LGBTQ community who are already vulnerable to bullying, and we've seen that in study after study, and violence, just for being themselves and just for being who they are, end quote. And Transportation Secretary Pete uh, Buttigieg, who, as you know, is gay, is married to, has a husband. He, today, on CNN, slammed the bill. He called it dangerous legislation that harms uh, lesbian and gay and bisexual youth and families. Buttigieg told uh, Jim Shuto on CNN this morning, quote, it tells youth who are different, or those families who are different, that there's something wrong with them. Out of the gate, and I do think that contributes to the shocking levels of suicidal thoughts and suicide attempts among lesbian and gay and bisexual youth, end quote. And what Buttigieg, uh, I can never pronounce his name, what, what, what pronounce his name, what Buttigieg leaves off, of course, is that the fascist Christians in, in, in their twisted, fucked up way, would celebrate every gay kid who commits suicide. Well, there's one less. No, I'm serious. That sounds very cynical and bitchy on my part. But I know. You know, I, I live in the South. Okay, I live in the buckle of the Bible belt. I hear this shit. I see it. I smell it. It stinks. Calm down, Mike. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, 
you can get a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.